Yeah, so can you tell us a bit about yourself and where you're from, um, your background in hockey? Okay, no problem. Uh, uh, as you already stated, I'm or- Orville McTaggart uh, from Jamaica. I, I started out playing hockey when maybe I was about 12 or 13 years old. I, I was introduced to the game by a good friend of mine. And uh, over time, I progressed. I didn't start goalkeeping until maybe I was about actually. Or oh, we had a high school game. And uh, one, of the, one of the players, well, goalkeeper, in fact, got injured the day before uh, just playing around and we needed a goalkeeper. And I said, okay, uh, I'll go in the goal. Seems interesting. I, basically, I went in the goal at age 14. I never came back out. I never wanted to play outfield ever in my life again. And uh, goalkeeping to me is possibly one of the most instrumental positions on a hockey field. Uh, it requires a level of toughness, mental uh, stability, communication skill. And I think you have to be the most multifaceted individual on the field to play in that specific position in goalkeeping. I've also represented my country. Uh, at age 17, I made the, the senior team uh, where we traveled to a tournament in Venezuela. And then after making the senior team, I, I, my, I went on a junior tour uh, with, with Jamaica as well. So uh, unfortunately though, my hockey career ended a little early because I was about um, 19 going on 20. I was preparing to go to the under 21 competitions where I, I had a car accident. And uh, because of that, I had a spinal injury. So I di- after that accident, I, I didn't play hockey for maybe about two, two and a half years based on the injury. I was told that uh, there's a great possibility you won't ever play any sport again. Or you might not walk again. Not so true. Based on, I'll, I'll take it back to your whole hockey mentality where I walked out of the hospital maybe eight months later. I, I eventually started playing back hockey. Uh, I was also redrafted into the, into the national team after developing uh, some competencies and, and, and handwork and in terms of that. And basically the motor skills had to, get, had to improve. But since then, I have been more into to coaching and administration. Well, that's, that's quite a journey. That's, uh, <laughs> now after after injuring your spine, did you did you notice a change in style uh, of play afterwards? Yes, you had to to basically uh, adjust your body. When I was uh, 19, 20, I was very agile. I was very flexible. I, I believe that I was so flexible to the point where it doesn't matter where you took a shot, I could save it. I so after the accident, you realize that because you have to rebuild your body. It is going to require a, lift, a different way of how you're going to approach the game. It requires a different way of how you're going to read the game. So you have to improve other areas to then make yourself capable of being at that level. What were these other areas that, 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 that you were working on? Well, one of the things I realized that my, my reflexes got slower, in all honesty. It did because of the type of injury. So it affected one side of the, the left side of my body. So what I had to start doing is I had to start reading the game from three quarters ahead. So I would basically see what the team is doing from their quarter. And I could tell my defense how to set up to prevent it from entering the, the, the defensive area. And based on those things, I also had to improve in terms of how I trained. So instead of me training four times for the week, I had to now start training six times for the week because I just had to do more to get my body in tuned for that. Plus I also had to change the eating habits. Uh, I had to stop uh, eating a lot of the junk food and things like that. Uh, So I was young at the time, but after that accent, it really taught me that you had to basically do a 360 degree turn to get your body back in shape. It would, it would back in those days, it would take me maybe uh, two, three days to, to be fit again after that accident. I realized it would take me three to four weeks to get my body in condition. So a lot of those things I had to do. How long did it take you to get back playing for the national team? You had your injury, what, 20? So Yeah, it took me 20, maybe about three to four years. So I had to do physiotherapy, I had to do a lot of physiotherapy. Then after I passed the physiotherapy stage, I, I had to learn how to walk, I had to learn how to run, uh, and then 
maybe two and a half years later after that, I actually decided I was going to put on the, the goalkeeping pads again and try it. And I, I can tell you, in all honesty, it was the first couple of shots were horrible. The ball seemed like it was moving too quickly. The Everything just seemed like it was moving too quick for my purpose. So it took me a little while, even though I started. And I will... I will openly say that at some points, because of the impact of the accident, it also impacted when I heard the, the, the ball and the stick connect sometimes, it would affect how I reacted. So I usually, so in those earlier stages, I moved slow. So I had to just basically tell myself, okay, uh, and just play some regular uh, fun games and then you got your body in tune, you got more custom. So how old are you now, if you don't mind me asking? 31. 31. Mm -hmm. so you, had, uh, you had a few years playing for the national team again yeah yeah had a few more years playing for the national team again and uh, but uh, it was fun I, I will say I, I still think maybe if if for not that accident for I think I possibly would still be playing now but I just think I, maybe when I was 27 28 thinking of what I had to do to get my body back in tune to play at a national level I I, I don't think I, I had that drive. I was more in the sense now where I wanted to look at coaching. I wanted to develop younger players to, to be better than how I was. What, who's your club? What clubs have you played for? Uh, well, I, I've only played for one club in Jamaica and I will only play for one club and I will only support one club. That's Circle Circle Hockey Club. That's my club forever. Um, I, I played at that club when I was, uh, I started when I was about 15 years old Uh and I never turned back since. They developed me into the player I was. They gave me the necessary skills that I needed. They supported me. When I, the motivation, even the times after the accident, they were always there. So for me, that's my club forever. I will never change my club. 